Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be talking about congruent shapes. Congruent is a very weird word to say. But really when you think about the word congruent, you can just think about the word equal. Congruent means the same, the same size, the same shape, the same number of angles, the same number of sides. It doesn't mean the same color. It means anything related to math, size, shape, number of sides, they all have to be exactly the same. So when I see the word congruent shapes, I really think about equal shapes. Let's read the directions and then try this worksheet together. Congruent means having the same shape and size, like I just said. You can turn, flip, or slide two congruent shapes so they fit exactly. And if those two shapes fit exactly onto each other, like this example right here, you know that those shapes are equal or congruent. If you look at this example of not congruent shapes, what if you put these shapes on top of each other? Are they gonna match up perfectly? Not even close. Sometimes it's really easy to just see that you have two totally different shapes. For instance, a circle and a triangle could never be congruent. Other times, you have to look really carefully Sometimes you might have to count the sides. Sometimes you might have to say the name of the shape. Let's take a look at these examples and we're going to try a few strategies to see which shapes are congruent or equal. Help the purple hexagon through the maze to get to its pair. I think the best thing to do would be to study the purple hexagon really closely so that when we look at other shapes, we know right away whether they're equal or congruent or not equal and not congruent. Let's look at this purple hexagon. Well, the first thing I know is a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides, but let's count just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we were right. A hexagon has six sides. So I know I'm going to be looking for a shape that has six sides. I also need to notice the size of the hexagon. Because if we had a really teeny tiny hexagon with six sides, it would not be congruent to this medium sized hexagon. So first, let's count the sides of all the other shapes. Let's trace our line to the first shape we see. Okay, I see a nice orange red shape. Does anybody know the name of this shape? By counting the number of sides, you can easily tell the name of the shape. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, and five. This is a five-sided shape. Does anyone know the name for a shape with five sides? A shape with five sides is called a pentagon. So already I know just by the number of sides a shape has that these two shapes, they are not congruent. So this isn't the right answer. Let's look at the next shape we come across. Ah, I see a green shape and I bet you know the name of it. But just to be sure, let's count the number of sides. One, two, three, four. This shape has four sides. There are a number of shapes that have four sides, such as a square and a rectangle, for example. Do you know the name of this shape? This shape is called a square. And because this square has four sides and our hexagon 
has six sides, these two shapes cannot be congruent. So this isn't the right way to the maze either. Let's check the last shape. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, I've come to a shape that looks like a hexagon. Now these two hexagons are facing different ways, but remember we can turn the shape so that way if we fit it right on top of another, it would match perfectly. First, let's count the number of sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six-sided shape as well. I know that any six-sided shape is called a hexagon. So already I'm starting to think this must be the right answer. But let's look a little bit more closely. If you could imagine taking this purple hexagon, turning it just a little bit to the right, bringing it down, putting it right on top of the blue hexagon. Do they fit perfectly? Yes, they do. So the purple hexagon is congruent or equal to the blue hexagon. Remember, boys and girls, congruent means equal, meaning they have to have the same number of sides, the same shape, and they need to be about the same size. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.